How are you this week, Lee? It's book week. How are you? It's book week. I am great, Maxie. It's uh, it's Friday. It's seven a.m. to me. It 8 a.m. to you. 8 a.m. to me. Friday morning. It's as as as. We've as had a busy ten days. Yeah, busy ten days. I've got my coffee. Um, I and my coffee. We are dedicating. You've got your coffee. We are dedicating this podcast to the book. It's the book. out. How long have we this? How long has this been on the desk? We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Just say, and just this, say year, three, this year, this year, this week, it's real. I was going to say three and a half years. You reckon? We've definitely been out of book one for oh. about a year and a bit. Yeah, we oh easily. I think we've been out of book one for close to two years. Yeah. When you think about it, yeah, it's, it's like I think I got my hands on one when I was back in England. That I, uh, you know, I, it's been one of the things that's made me sad every time I've looked at the book stock. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, yeah. and then every time people have gone, are you getting them back? And we were like, yes. And it's yeah, like it's just not back. an easy process. They look great. But they're, they're back, and we did it. So um, here it is. Hello, there's the YouTube people. Check it out. Looks uh, pretty cool. There's about oh, 15 chapters, 13, 14, 15 chapters in there. Um, it's loosely based on my childhood of growing up as a surf yeah. master and nipper. And uh, little Maxi, uh, let's see if how he goes um, at the Buckler Life Saving Club. Um, it's very exciting. And it's back. It da, looks da, da. great. It looks great. Um, and a big shout out to very to you, excited. A big shout out to you, Lee, in house publishing, and especially Paul for bringing those illustrations to life. He is an absolute legend. And yes. Um, you know, even the, sorry, Nala saying hello. Uh, even the last couple of no, weeks, Nala. I've been reading um, the picture book to Sunny at at, uh, at hospital. Yeah, it's it's awesome to see little Maxi in the picture book, and then right at the end, the last picture, the last page in the picture book, it's Maxi looking up at the lifeguard tower, and it kind of rolls in to these yeah. sets of books or this next book. So it's yeah. awesome now that we can. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so exciting. Because obviously that little that little Maxi on the beach looking up the lifeguard tower is not it's, at school yet, is he? If I remember no, right, no, he's only no, eight it's or not nine at years school old. yet. And it goes rolls then into the beginning of the um, in deep water where mm. he's sitting in class. <clears throat> Love then, it. So we're going to share a bit more um, in the facts. We're going to talk about the books in a bit. Sorry, you go. No, I was just going to say too, and it's not just we're not just doing the uh, second edition of book one. We're also in the process of doing the second edition of book two, and then um, next year we'll be doing we uh, book three. So you, you'll be seeing these yeah. little wins of the books over the next six to twelve months. But we're very, very excited, and absolutely we're to, uh, to sharing more of the story and the illustrations, and um, yeah, be on this journey with us yeah. because it's a great journey. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so let's roll it with we got the perfect quote for this week, Maxi. What do we got? Yeah, so the quote this week is one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. How true is that? Perfect quote for this week. So so true. Um, you know, such a good um such a good quote and the power of a little book. And, um, you know, we're not we're not saying that this book is going to change the world, but it might change one little life somewhere that we may never know about. And teachers do that every day of the week. And, um, yeah, there we go. And one just, book, one yeah. pen, one child, yeah. one teacher can change the world. And just what, adding on to that, when you said one kid impacts, we're working on some other cool stuff as well that's going to – even make the experience for that kid love it even more. So we'll talk about that probably at the exactly. end of the year into next year. But uh, we are working some other cool things as well. All right. Good news. Absolutely. 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 So good news, Maxi. What do we got? Hit the music. Yeah, there's some great news this week, Lee. So first things first, um, we'll go back to last Friday when I had to shoot off and rush off. Um, I had a school talk out at Mount Druid at uh, yeah. Shavley College. Uh, spoke to Year 7 yes. and Year 8 students. It was a great chat. Um, mm -hmm. the kids were 
really involved. We did some really good drills and we got some hands-on um, simulations and, uh, you know, situations they might find themselves in coming into the school holidays and into the Christmas Christmas time period when it's nice and warmer weather. Um, but, yeah, it was a great talk. Brilliant. It's the second, the second time I've been back in um, – two consecutive years and the, the kids and the teachers were great. So I hope they all enjoyed the Live, Learn, Survive, Amazing. Skills for Life program. Um, Amazing. Yeah. And we also had, uh, before all the book talk, we also had a great guest this week and I can't wait for people to listen to the guests that we had on Wednesday. Um, yeah. What, what, a, what a star, what a, what a legend. And, and I'll tell you what, we're both sitting at the what end of the um, when he was telling us we about were. Uh, a story that he did back in 1996 up in Coffs Harbour. And, yeah. Um, I'm not going to give too much yeah. away, but Ab- it's... Absolutely it's a- incredible guest. Very oh, 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 unbelievable. And like you say, we, you, you and I were both silent just listening <laughs> I it was to Alan. And, yeah. Yeah. And we and were was- both, you know when you can tell people like lean in? We were both like, and I know I was like, I was like, you know, and he was just absolutely incredible. We were very lucky to him to be so generous with his time, and um, I I'm so excited for that one to go out. It's going to be, um, you know, in probably the next six weeks or so. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, really, really, what a chat! What a lovely, lovely man. So um, right, that man. was our absolute highlight. I was buzzing. I literally got off that podcast, got straight in the car straight down to um, see the books. Um, so it was a complete whirlwind. I ended up being 15 minutes late to the publisher, but they waited for me. And I was just the whole way there, I was thinking, that chat, this book is why we do what we do. And it was just brilliant. So very, very, uh, very cool chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then um, I linked on to it. Yeah, linked on to it, and uh, you sent me some really cool photos and videos, and then that rolls into the next thing where um, you created a great TikTok and Instagram reel for the the book creation of the binding and the you yeah. know the way it gets cut and sized up and and you know, yeah. the end result because you really know in this video. day and age, and you know I I spent like a you know a, a bit of time in the actual in the factory at the publisher which is here in brisbane in the suburbs of brisbane and you know there's ladies there it could have been you know my mom your dad anyone's auntie these are their jobs these these small family businesses have been there for years and years and years and one of the ladies actually said to me thank you for supporting an australian company it's very and i thought and i said we're you know and and so when i created the reel because they let me see all different parts of the process so i literally got the first they print all the pages and they print them like seven book deep and then they take this to this huge guillotine that's got so many sensors you literally can't get near this guillotine before the blade comes down because of the sensors that stop it um because i actually on one of them i was videoing my phone I was still like half a meter away, but my I phone alerted the sensor and the machine stopped. I was like, oh, um, <laughs> so seven books deep of the pages. And then probably about, I reckon there would have been a, at least a hundred, probably a hundred covers deep. And it just goes, chomp, 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 chomps mm-hmm. it all. And then the coolest machine, the pages, if you like, get loaded in one end. The covers in the other, they meet in the middle and the pages roll through the glue and then they seal together in this heat and they hold seal and then they get thrown out the other end. And you've actually got, other than the actual outer trim, you've got a book. It's crazy. Um, Great video. So we literally went from artwork to pages and that's when I said in the TikTok, in the reel that you're going to put on TikTok today, Every bit of that process is Australian, mm. from being illustrated by Paul, being written by David in Melbourne with you in Sydney and me in Brisbane, illustrated by Paul in Wollongong. The, the sketches being put together by a company in Brisbane, printed in Brisbane, completely an yeah. Australian process, and I'm really, really proud of that. Yeah. Very and, proud of it. So, um, 
And people that are watching this YouTube video, the most recent um, YouTube short is the process that Lee filmed. So check it out. It's 60 seconds and it's a pretty cool yes. video. Uh, people on Spotify, jump on Brilliant. Instagram um, TikTok and you'll be able to see it as well. Yeah, and most importantly, because everyone's going to be bombarded about things for Santa and Christmas and whatever, they are pre-sales are on sale now and they are going to be dispatched a uh, week commencing the 11th of November. And based on the timeline of the bookmarks and the things that I'm actually going to collect next Friday, they're actually, week commence, we've said week commence in the 7th, they're probably going to go out on the 7th because... Yep. Um, we're going to have everything that we need. So um, get in first, get in line, um, pre-order, and also you can go into the winning to win a superhero backpack. Superhero backpack. And the cool thing is is uh, where you can find the pre-sale is on the bios in our fa uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, so just keep yeah. an eye out there. And we'll and share the link on this as well. So um so, yeah, so um, very awesome. exciting. Good good news all round. Doesn't get much better. So, um, excellent. Well, right, what have we news, got then now? What's, what have we got oh. any bad news? Oh, well, it's not bad, bad. What have you got, Lee? <clears throat> oh, so last night, you know, we've got a few littlies around our street now. Because obviously it's the first of November today. White rabbits. Do you say that? Do you say that? Ian? No. I said it this morning before I spoke to anybody. White rabbits. Um, anyway, I went and got lollies for Halloween. Not only did I get the lollies, I got a little bowl and I got a little sign. Please take one. Happy Halloween. Then I thought, I even got the lollies that were wrapped because, you know, we've got the butch birds and the magpies that are taking mm -hmm. anything that they can get their hands on at the minute. They're all a bit wild. So I thought, got the lollies that wrapped, got them in the little tray, got them on the little sign. I thought, do I put them on Bricky Bob's wall out the front? Then I thought, no, because of the birds. So I put them on the, I've got a little table at the front door. Forgot to message the parents to tell them that they were there. So I've just, <laughs> I've just fetched a ball back in. Was there any taken? And you know, none. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, Maxi. I tried. Auntie yeah. Lee really tried. Um, and you know what was worse? I just saw on Instagram a lovely little photo of them all dressed up in the street. <laughs> They're literally at the end of my driveway. Yeah. So, you know, it's like Dr. Jill's grandkiddies, a couple of doors down, and then and Liz's little ones across the road. And they're literally, they've all met in the middle, which is about at the end of my driveway. And they've got the little baskets and the little, oh, and I'm like, and there was the lollies. So I guess I'm going to, I know. Um, so I'm, I'll, I'll, look, I will, I'll get the lollies delivered and we'll call them something else. Good so stuff. It'll be well, fine. Mine's not mm. Halloween related, but I'll tell you what. Oh, the last couple of weeks, it's been so annoying the Wi Fi mm -hmm. and the NBN from home. I've been having <sighs> a hot spot off my phone every podcast and every. Yeah. Exactly. It's getting quite annoying. But again, I don't know if it's the eastern suburbs of Sydney, but it seems like a lot of people are having the same issues. You know, we interviewed Al the other day yes. and he was having um, NBN um, Wi Fi issues and. I don't know yeah. what it is, but uh, every time we inquire, they say oh, they're doing work around the area. But you know, at what point do you go? Well, when's the work going to finish? <laughs> anyway, who do we know? Who do we know? This is important stuff we're sending around the interweb. But who do we know? Yeah. Get on the phone. Right. So don't uh, they know who they're dealing with, Maxie? Come on. <laughs> and, um, yes, exactly. Jokes. We've had a couple of um, hicks on the. Um, the might you might see a pause or whatever. It wasn't us. It was the NBN. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. um, mm, what okay. have you got for me, Maxi? Why did the book break up with the bookshelf? Ooh, why did the book break up with the bookshelf? It just felt like it needed some space. All right. Very topical. Very topical. Um, so I don't know if you know, Maxi that I passed all my courses except Greek mythology. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always been my Achilles elbow. <laughs> You mess that up, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> it's always been my Achilles elbow. Achilles elbow. That's. Good. I don't I like even it. know if that one's that funny. Oh, it is. It is. Off. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very funny. early. All right. Okay. Another one. Another one. Uh, laughing. Played Nala. Did you hear about the book on teleportation? No, I didn't hear about the book on teleportation. It's bound to take you places. Wait, I missed it. <laughs> oh, really? It's been a big week. It's, so it's been a big it's week. So There's one more here. Why, did, why did the librarian get kicked off the aeroplane? Because he was overbooked. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to give you an 11 out of 10 for being topical. Yes. But we with your dad jokes. Yeah. Anyway. That's a that's a that's an A plus for effort. What have you got? There you go. Last one. Friend of mine recently started a business cleaning litter off the side of the road. He says business is picking up. <laughs> <laughs> the Wi Fi is so bad that uh, even your <laughs> even the laughter's delayed. Yeah. Oh, my life. <laughs> oh, there's some good ones. Uh, okay, keep yeah. going. We've got yeah. this. Hang on in there, mate. We've got this. Keep yeah, going. So, um, okay. right. Okay. Job of the week. Job of the week. Well, it's been a big, it's been a big six weeks for personal life. And it's been a big week for Live, Learn, Survive. Life changing. Um, but I am mm-hmm. back at the fire station from next week, next Friday. I'm back on the truck at 62 station. So I'm very excited to get back. Um, it's been a good little yes. break. We have had a pretty crazy year with some of the jobs, you know, if you listen to the podcast week in, week out. There's some big jobs that, are, that we've done over the over this year. And um, it's just good to have a little bit of a break, a bit of a refresh, but I'm really keen to get back, even though I'm only going to be back for a little while before uh, little Sonny gets home. But, um, you know, it'll be good to get back on the truck and I look forward to seeing the crew. Um, and I've been doing a few lifeguard yep. shifts as well. It's been great. Um, you know, we're, we're gearing up for another busy summer. Um, I've been working at Tamara and Bronte a fair bit. I haven't been at Bondi much because um, yep. the timers are there yep. all the time. But yeah, nothing to really report. My cousin Maka, who we've uh, interviewed on the podcast before, he was a special operations paramedic around the area yesterday, around the eastern suburbs, and he came down and visited me down at Bronson. We had a good old chinwag, and um, he had to. Oh, lovely, Maka! We had to shoot off because he had a drug overdose at Marubra. Um, oh, which you know, oh, yeah. So he took off, took off pretty quickly. So short lived our chat, but it was always good to catch up with him and. Um, you know, he's a definitely a yep. big inspiration for, for me and what I do as a as a firefighter and a rescue operator and also a lifeguard and what I do with Definitely. Life. So it was always good mm-hmm. to catch up with him. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, nothing to yeah. really report. Did you – um, I, I, so did you uh, catch uh, Queen Mary of Denmark just having a dip down at Bronte or was that the day no, before? It must have been the day before. I didn't see her at all yesterday. Um, I was there all day. Mm. Oh, I think yesterday the um, – they got the um, – because oh, obviously the pats are all over her now. Um, bless her. Um, yesterday she was, I think, at Balmoral. There you go. But yeah, um, so she's her. in Sydney. So, um, so no. So, um, yeah, she's not back for a bit of um, a dip in the sea. Bless her. So, um, so yeah, so that was um, good. So back at the action station, you'll be ready to – got your boots ready? Yes, I'm pretty keen to get back. It's um... – Got all the yeah, gear just, in the back just, of the car. I, you know, someone said that I was at the gym the other day, and someone goes, "Oh, so what? What do you, what do you love to do?" I said, I, "I just love being a firefighter. It's just a something like I love what I do with live, learn, survive, and lifeguarding and personal life. But there's just something about being a fire that I really, really love, and I'm just really excited for. And I still, after nine years of being in the service, um, I get excited. I get still get butterflies, and I still get." Um, yeah. yeah. I for something that I really enjoy and love to do. And don't get me wrong, I have a good and bad days. But yeah. the, 
the good days definitely outweigh the bad and um it's definitely something that I really love. Well, you've said this since you were three years old, so yeah. it's now 30 years of your life you've, you know, exactly dreamt right. of that. And exactly um, right. I sent you a photo yesterday. I was shopping yesterday. Did you see that fire truck? Yes. I thought, Summy needs that fire so truck lovely. for her. I didn't buy it, but it was like a cuddly toy, and I thought, <laughs> that's – and then I thought – Note to self, little girl, little girl, Lee, little girl, oh. little girl. Um, and then I remembered this little girl, my dad's still got my toy car collection. So yeah. I'm thinking she may be in it. I may be going back for that fire truck, Maxi. Don't <laughs> watch this space. Watch and space. then I thought, Talia will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Lee nice turns up in Newcastle it's with crazy. a fire truck on <laughs> fire truck on her arm. I thought I, sure. do you know what? I kinda of thought this won't I'm be sure a that first. Would pass. I'll definitely pass because I'll probably want to have a piece of it too. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, um, so yeah, um, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, we, we, my digress. Got to die. Right, tip of the week. What do we got, my Tip of the week. Mm -mm. Yeah, tip of the week this week, I've got two things here. Um, so the video that we put on Water Safety Wednesday across the socials was river safety about hidden dangers that you might find at rivers, lakes, and dams, which is very yeah. important. But also keeping the theme of the book, um, a lot of people might or not realise that the book's actually themed uh, around safety. And uh, the first book yeah. um, in deep water is around rip safety. And, uh, yeah, it's in very, very important to, to understand how RIPs work. For the YouTube What's, people. What? Yeah, sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, RIPs, RIP currents at the back of the book. It's got information about RIPs, what to do if you get stuck on one, how to identify one, and how to rescue someone if um, you see them. Have situation awareness. Understand that they move in all different shapes and sizes. Um, you know, look for where the water is darker yeah. and more murky. Um Surfers usually use them to get out the back quicker, um, usually in uh, beaches that are patrolled that have signage or flags to, to show you where the rips are. So, yeah, it's uh, very important to, get, to understand rip safety because it does save lives yeah. and um, we're coming into the and, busy season. And that was the whole like thing. And that was the whole thing, like the idea of the books is that children can learn and not realise they're learning. Every, each of the books has got a topic um, and one of the stats that we shared this week, knowing that we were going to have the book, is at the beach, the number one hazard at the beach continues to be rip currents. And r these stats are from Rural Life Saving Australia, their drowning report of 2024. They factor in over 35% of drowning deaths. So just understanding a rip, how they work, how to spot to one, what to do if you get stuck in one. Because it can literally be, we, you've, we've said this before, you can be on the sandbank, you can drift, you can put, and it's as quick as that. So um, basic knowledge that can really help everybody. So whether why, you're an adult or a child. And that's why I always tell people, mm. make sure you stay in between the red and yellow flags because sometimes on either side of the flags, you might have a rip current because as the water and the energy and Absolutely. the momentum of the water comes in over the sandbank, it washes up the beach and then you need to go yep. back out to sea. So sometimes it funnels on the side of the red and yellow flags, the big sandbank that we have there. So always stay in between the yep. flags, not off the flag or near the flags, in between the flags. Good stuff. Exactly. Great advice, Maxi. Best right. tip. So, uh, Mike, crazy, crazy facts. facts. What have we got? We're doing a bit different this week. Yep, you guessed it. We are sticking with the book theme. Um, I've got a couple of crazy facts here about books. So, did you know that okay, the, old, go, go, go. the oldest known printed book is the Diamond Sutra, a Buddhist text from China dating back to 868 AD? It's over a thousand years old. Wow. Wonder if oldest still, known people still book. have Maxi the I'm Life. Sure I'm sure they have texts and tablets and bits and pieces from BC days, but actual book that's been binded and, yeah. um, you know, wow. that's pretty cool. Uh, the most translated mm -hmm. book, The Little Prince by Anton de saint Cupuri, has been translated into over 300 languages and dialects, making it one of the most translated books in the world. 
Wow. Um, mm-hmm. The Library of Congress in the world's la- Library of Congress is the world's largest. The Library of Congress in Washington DC, we did drive past there, is the largest library yeah, in the we world, did. housing over 170 million items, including books in Wow, we didn't have time to get in there. Different languages. Uh, the fastest selling book Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows holds the record for the fastest selling book. It sold over 8.3 million copies in just 24 hours when it was released in 2007. 8.3 million. I'm writing that down. 8.3. That's like we, I'll, I'll get the printer lined up for a bit more production. 8.3 million. Last one. This one's for the kiddies out there in the YouTube. Mm-hmm. Bookworms are real. The term bookworm isn't just a metaphor. Real insects like beetles and silverfish are known to feed on the pages of books. There you Whoa. go. Whoa. Amazing. Go. Amazing. Well, I, I'm doing a little bit different. I'm going to give some facts about the books that we've done so far. So first thing I'm going to tell you is some of the places that they've gone. Remember, we sent them to, um, they're in the actual Metropolitan City of Rome Library. Remember, Mm -hmm. we sent them there. So they're in Italy. We've got them in, um, oh, where's that? Where's that? Oh, 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 oh. Poland. That's right. That's, of course it is. That was like a lot of Europe. We're in Germany. They're in Austria. They're in the UK. They're in England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. They're all over the USA. They're in um, Mexico. Remember, we one of the things we've still got on our list, we've got them ready for translating into Spanish. They're in New Zealand. They're in Singapore. They're in Malaysia. So many places all over the world. Um, we are absolutely thrilled, the people that have got them and embraced them, and we can't wait to try and beat that record. So 30 countries so far, we're going, that's, that's like, you know, we want probably 60. So that's the first thing on some of the facts of where the books currently have been. Um, and then I thought I'm going to introduce like some of the characters for people that maybe just want a little bit of the insight into the book. So as you say, the main the main man, Trent Maxi Maxwell, in the book, you're about 11 years old, loosely based on your childhood. Some facts in there, some fiction. Mm-hmm. It's great for the kids to work out what's true, what's not true. Yep. 11, 11 years old, loves the beach. You've got a dog called Bones and you are, you know, a bit of a warrior, um, doesn't self-promote or brag, a little bit cheeky. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. <laughs> so you're the main character, Maxi. So then some of your um, crew, so your mate Felix, Felix is 11, Felix best, is fiercely loyal, gives his best at everything and never gives a go, never gives up, but can sometimes be a bit unlucky. Um, incredibly smart. We were all at school with somebody, weren't we, that was incredibly smart. Um, so, um, you know, and an interesting fact about Felix is that he sneezes when he's nervous. So these yeah, were the, the story sneeze, arcs yeah. that we got. You did a sneeze then. Oh, okay, okay. And then Rach. The main girl in the, in the book, 11 years old. Not that we probably know much about this in the book, but she's a top skateboarder, but she's a great swimmer, good swimmer, and she sees the good in everyone except Josh. We'll come to him in a minute. Um, she calls it as she sees it and it's the voice of reason, and she's strong and she's smart and she um, loves the beach and loves a practical joke. So good on your Rach. And then Josh. Everyone knew someone at school called Josh, or not called Josh, like Josh, should I say, the bully. He's everywhere. He's a good swimmer, and he's a good in the surf and a paddleboarder, and he knows it. Um, and But according to all the adults, butter would not melt in his mouth. So um, Josh, everyone knows Josh. I love the fact that his hair in the new book, he looks like he's got little devil horns, the way he's spiky here, just whatever. Mm. Um, So butter would not melt, but the truth may prevail. Who will know? So um, there's some of the kids in the book, and um, probably another time we'll um, introduce some of the others, Sergeant Jolly and uh, Miss Vincent and all the rest of it. So 
Um, there's just a little bit about the characters for anybody that might want to know what it's about. But all these kids are about 11 year old and the books for like eight to 12 year olds, but the lessons in there go right up to adults. So it's just a really great family story for everybody. So um, there you go. That's the book facts. Great exactly. Stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, great, great introduction to the characters, Lee. Uh, moving on to reflection. No worries. Yeah, reflection this week, Lee. Uh, I'm just, just quickly, just, I just love the new look of the book. It just looks very nice, and it's a new lease of life. It's something that we've been working on for for a while, and uh, it's awesome to see it come to life with the great illustrations. It just seems like, even though it is a second edition, it just seems like it's a brand new book. Yeah, basically everything in there is new, other than the story. So the word search at the back is new. Um, every illustration is new. Um, the the cover, the th- it's it's literally um, you know a new lease of life. And one of the things that I thought, Maxi, is I got some in the Express Post to you yesterday. So fingers crossed, if Australia Post do what they should do, you're going to see the book today because you haven't usually actually held one yet. Good. Yeah, the usually, usually pretty, pretty good, good. but but it's exactly. And, and this was the photo I was looking for when we joined this thing. It's six years and two months since you, I came to Sydney. And remember the first book? We sat in that cafe and I put it in a box. Six years and two months later, it's out again. And I think that's just like, you know, it's that six-year thing again, Max. So you how long for the fire is? Six years. How long for me to get in the to get yep. a visa for Australia? Six, six years. years. You yeah, have to wait. Still, so, um, a kids, uh, primary school life is six years, and high school life is six years. So, you know, it's a new generation yeah. of kids coming through, and um, you know, hopefully they enjoy these books. I know they will, and the illustrations definitely bring it. To so, life. six years. Some of those twelve-year-olds that would have read that book the first time around now, Maxi, are going 18, potentially 19. to work today. Yeah. <laughs> How old does that make us feel? Um, so yeah, uh, there's a new wave of um, of um, kids coming through that are going to get the chance to read it, and um, incredibly proud because now Live Learn Survive, we are publishing it, and um, it will la- last the la- last time and time now. So which is amazing. So um, exactly, and the one th- one other thing while we're talking about this before we go is. I've got a story here that I think is so appropriate, being as we're talking about the power of a book. And it's from a little story that Billy Conley told. And he says, going to the library changed my life. It may even have saved it. And he said, people often said, obviously growing up in a very working class in Glasgow, that football and boxing was the way out of working class and the ticket out to, you know, a brighter, better future. But he said, for me, for Billy Connolly, the library was the key because it was where the escape tunnel was because exactly what we said in the quote, that one story lets you see a world well beyond the pages, your imagination, your curiosity. Um, And I think that um, that's the importance of books. So um, he said it's a free ticket to the entire earth. And I thought that's just a beautiful way of, finishing the reflection of why we were so determined that these books were going to get a second chance of life. So awesome. There great, you go. great story. Um, yeah. Great Brilliant. Stuff, Lee. And uh, that rolls into the playlist for the Spotify place playlist that we have on Live, Learn, Survive. Um, story yes. of my life by One Direction. It's added yes, to... Yes, it's a great the, little song. It's added to the playlist now. I'm just doing it. My life. Yeah, and we've put that to the reel that was on Instagram, and it's going to go on TikTok shortly. Um, so, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, great little great little thing, and it kind of is the story of your life-ish. So, so uh, on YouTube, uh, that's the Live, Learn, Survive playlist. There's over 250 yeah. songs in there from people and guests from all over the world that have, Spoke to us and sending their songs. And, uh, yeah, make sure you download yeah. it, subscribe, and check it out. 
Absolutely. All righty. So last thing then, Maxi, rule for the rule book. What rule have we got? For the rule book. Yeah, the rule for the rule book this week, Lee, is pick up a book this weekend. Yeah, it doesn't have to be our books. Obviously, if you want to, we're not going to stop you. But any book, because like, you know, Billy Connolly said, books are your ticket to the whole world. Your curiosity, imagination. It is. You know, can take so you all around the world from the comfort of your own little armchair. So, um, yeah, just pick up a book. Uh, Simple. A little bit of a thing that I've been trying to get into a good habit. I read most nights before I go to bed. Um and it's just even if it's 15 minutes or 15 pages, doesn't matter. It's something that you can kind of get into a good habit with and you learn and you can be inspired and you can imagine and you can do all these sorts of things. And then plus, if it's something that's nonfiction and you're at the fire station like sometimes I am and then one of the quizzes gets thrown around, sometimes you might know the answer to something that, some of those history questions. So you never know. Always, always thinking, Maxi. Always yeah. thinking. Ken. Mm-hmm. Well, excellent brilliant I brilliant enjoyed this week um it's been a great chat and we will see you all next week absolutely and as we said as i think i said earlier in the week the book now it's been on our desk it's no longer ours maxi it's out there online it's for everybody order it get one it's Pre-order. the perfect stocking filler for christmas get, for christmas, for get sure. in and um share one for a child because we know they'll love it and you're supporting uh, okay. you know, and what, a... what we do um, to get the message out there far and wide. So thank you. Yeah, exactly. Every school in Australia, we are heading your way. So, um, yeah, have a great week, everybody. Um, it's been a busy one. Quiet weekend for me. Very quiet. Enjoy. And Enjoy. Um, yeah, see everyone next week. Take, Take care. Bye. Bye.